Welcome to the One Million Mile Road Trip. As you know, me and Medina sold our house and business, and we're now we're full time on the road. Hope you join us one mile at a time. Today we're going to talk about, as most of you know, we're in Wisconsin and we're staying here for about a month while uh, hoping diesel prices are going to go down a little bit and also to help my daughter out while they're gone to Alaska pet sitting. Today we're going to discuss some things that should help you maintain your RV. And this should be done whether you're traveling on the road every day or you're sitting still like we are for about 30 days. Or if your um, RV is parked somewhere. Yeah, or if your RV is parked somewhere, even in storage, right. you could do a lot of this stuff to just to make sure it's kept, kept up. First thing I want to talk about is this white grease, white lithium grease. This stuff is really good. Uh, you put this on, and I'm not, we're not affiliates of this, but this is just one product I've tried and really used to really like. You spray it on your slides, uh, uh, your slide tracks, and it pretty much stays there even until you're used again. Now, I like to do it right before we uh, we move or take the slides in and out and that way it gets on the gear system all the way in and it makes a total difference when you're putting in. I know in the past we put our slides in and it seems like we have a bump or here or two or maybe get a catch. You, If you use this you're not going to have that. And this is another item that I've got. Again we're not sponsored by them but I found out to be a great product and this is by 3-in-1 this is RV Care Window Track Loop right here. And what we're, today we're going to go around and try to do, show you how to do the tracks. You do it on the outside and, and we'll show you how to that, you know, go inside and work these tracks up and down. Or you do it on the inside of the track also. And it just kind of uh, helps your windows able to slide them in and out without trying to be so hard. Now. Another thing you can do too and uh, is make sure that you start your generator at least once a month and run it for at least three or four minutes until your generator, if you have an onboard generator or even if you have one in the back of your truck, it's important to keep that thing in good working order. So what we do is about once a month, we start the generator, get a run through the system, it'll be kind of high at first. And then once it starts to settle back down, we run it for about three minutes or four to five minutes. With diesel as it is, I don't run it near as much as I used to. I used to run it 15 or 20 minutes. But, and it just keeps the, it keeps the generator in good working order. And if you have a problem, it give you a heads up before you get out there boondocking or wherever you're, wherever you are. So I'm gonna take you around and show you some things, how we do it and, uh, give you some good ideas go out here even in the front side that we have dogs in here so our dog hair will probably need to run a, a towel across there to make sure that you don't have any type of hair in there but you can tell the difference I can tell the difference you do that on as many windows as you can uh, to keep them and you see, some of them make noise. They're not, you're not going to be perfect. Okay? Well, you go down the road and it's like yeah. taking your house through an earthquake. Okay. Now, you shake this up. What I try to do is, too, is go over here on these, uh, the main points and do these uh, around grease your steps. And you may, what we'll do is we'll work these steps. Uh, and I know the motors are the main thing, but you can't grease the, you can't do the motors like that. Can you get your hand in there? <laughs> Back up, Maggie. Back up. What's that switch, Dana? I did. Just a second. Yep. Well, you gotta, I gotta leave it. Uh-uh, Maggie, stop. Okay, now. 
can see the difference there. It really has a good uh -uh, Maggie, color. back up. Back up. I know you want out. Back up. You can really tell the difference. It's very, very quiet, too. Get uh, back, Maggie. And we had our uh, step motor go out and had to replace it. I changed the step motor. Yeah, he did it himself, and it was great. Okay, now. Baby needs a bath. All right, come down here. You can see that the white grease, lithium grease that I did last time on this. But let me just show you wait, what. Wait, 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 wait. Let me show you what. Even it doesn't hurt to to do this again. I like to do it right before we leave, right before we are heading out and fix to put the slides back in. I like to do that, but you can see that white lithium grease that stays on there. So it's just a, it's easy to do. You can take it with your rag there and wipe the bottom of it if you want to keep it from dripping. But under here, if you go under here, you can see there's not a lot of places to have anything. I mean, there's not any type of thing that you can get to right here so you can't open these uh, things up pull it out that far that's fine probably okay she pulls it out there on that side and what that does is and it, I'll show you when you start to do both of these uh, all of this stuff from underneath you need to do it on both sides but we're just because we're, we don't have time to go through every little bit uh, and the problem with this side is, is this side is, to me, is a lot further underneath here. The new Tiffins have a switch up near the front. Allows you to unlock and lock the doors without a key. Unbelievable. Okay. I highly recommend that you do this when you have a concrete area so you don't get your knees tore up. But you can see all of these uh, these things are up here so you can you can grease that up in here but on this side it you can see what I do on this side is uh, I'll grease this area right in here And what that does is it will stay there. But like I said, if you, you get the ben greater benefit is right before you leave, you do this on, on this side. And on the other side where it's open, uh, I'll try to leave that open over there, Dina. I'll try to show you what we can do on that side. But this kind of, it really, really does a benefit to having your slide up and up and down. It really, really does. Now, Dana is doing something a lot of times we don't do right away, but we need to. She is putting on these black covers over our tires. We are going to try to get something that's a little bit more easier to do. These are, we have here are not custom made, and they're big and bulky, and sometimes they don't fit right, and they don't look good at all. So, uh, when they're on there right, well, when they're on there right, but a lot of times you can't get them on there right. But you see here, this white grease is all up and down here on this uh, thing, and it fairly stays. But like I said, if you're in a place where you can do this once a month, you don't have to do it every single time, but do it when you close your, your thing up about once a month, and it does really, really help. 
it does you'll be you'll see a difference when your slides come in and this is on this side I'll show you on the other side also and that's what these look like when they're fairly on fairly good they cover tires that and when they still look pretty good to me okay this is what basically they look like when they're on bright uh, they uh, cover and the way I understand it is it's the ozone uh, from the sunlight that cr develops early cracks in the side of your tires and that's why they uh, they say they recommend having those on there now if you're parked for one day I don't know if they're worth it unless there, you, there's some that actually stick on the outside that's pretty nice and you might say it's worth it at that point but uh, if you're there it's going to be one day or two days but it's not, I don't think one day is going to matter that much do, uh, there's not really a place to do your your rails on this side uh, so what I do a lot of time is right before I leave I spray some of this stuff on up here you can see where the uh, you can see where the thing uh, scrapes kind of like the uh, portion sits on so I go ahead and put grease on that right before I put in the slides and it, it just makes it makes a world of difference but your weight is on the other side because you have the refrigerator so it's kind of open exposed so you can do a uh, thing on it another thing you might want to do just as a, a little helpful thing is spray anything that that rolls these these little things right here are part of our slide uh hello gracie part of our slides and we just do a little bit of thing in there and it helps it does help slide <laughs> You had something fall down back there. Can you go up there and see? If Where's you can do the this? keys? Slide in and out. There you go. Okay. But anyway, you can see that that's been here 30 minutes, and and uh, there's no difference in what I sprayed it. But what I like to do is, like I said, right before I leave. We go somewhere, we put that on there, and it really, really makes a big difference. Now, your windows, you can see on the outside, they're not going to be able to do stuff on the outside. But on the, uh, and you see Dina comes around here, and she's spraying it on that side also. And it will stay, but it's really good, too, right before you leave to do that. And it does, it does make a difference. But the issue too is right now, the only other thing I would like to do now, but as you can see, we're on gravel and it's just not worth it today, is when we pull out, like when we leave, we'll pull it out, we'll pull out down the road, maybe to a concrete area parking lot or uh, on an asphalt, on a, one of these uh, circles on something. And or right before we leave, we'll put down this mat and allow us to crawl underneath there and put this lube, this white lithium grease on our uh, our uh, jacks and that will help them go up and down as far as having any dirt around them or anything. It doesn't take a whole lot. If this is heavy duty metal to metal lubricant, it's really nice, it really does a really good job. Uh, uh, we have our uh, blue ox here for our car and it does get, that's all you need. I don't need them. It does help if maybe if you spray some of this down in here in the joints right in here where you're going to have to when you go to put this up it does get a little hard to do if this thing's been out in the weather even if it's covered up and that just stays on there that good. Alright, I want to put that black thing over that and Another thing, now we just had our oil changed and our uh, water fuel separators changed, but you know, it's always good to, to
to go over here and we we had our air filter checked and they said it was good and this is our air filter meter it tells you here right here it tells you what levels the best time to change it and right here it tells me that the change air filter is way down so they don't we don't need to change our air filter then up here is our transmission to check our transmission oil check our engine oil and check our uh, right there we pour engine oil in but we don't need to do that because we just had it serviced and they did a real good job and uh, we've checked them since then one person needs to go around and check all of the doors and make sure they're locked because i saw when they were riding in one of the cities an rv this size got stuck in traffic and they were opening the bottom and throwing their stuff out in the road so yeah. make sure your all your stuff is locked yeah we lock all the doors every door is locked on when we start out a long trip so we we know that uh with us, we had um, we had our generator and our oil service. But what we like to do, and I'm not going to do it now because I'm plugged in. But when we're here anywhere for, or we haven't started the generator in about 30 days, I like to start the generator, let it run till it gets up to idle speed. And what it'll do, it'll go up and then go back down. And then, like I said, this is in, if you, even if you have a portable generator, start it up once a month so you make sure that everything's good. Make sure you check the oil in the generator if it's not been checked in a while. Make sure you check the generator and let it run for a while. And what it does is, by doing that, is you, over, you can maybe catch a problem before you get out there in the boonies somewhere and really need it. Now, another thing that we have been using and finding it's just been amazing is this stuff right here. And like I said, we are not affiliates of that. I would love to be. Maybe there's a way for us to do that later on. This is unique. It's camping and marine RV digested holding tank treatment. And what that does is it liquefies, like it says, it liquefies the waste in all brands of toilet paper. So you don't have to, <clears throat> you don't have to, excuse me, you don't have to have RV toilet paper and we, we never we've had. never ever used RV toilet paper and and the one thing too that um, we've seen and I've watched videos where they don't put the toilet paper down the toilet and I, I'll tell you folks I, I just don't have it in me to, to keep it in a waste basket or something over to the side we use this it doesn't matter how much toilet paper we put down there it eats it up and uh, helps us maintain the sensors uh, working sensors but even the best toilet digest stuff, even the best, does not do it all. And what I would suggest, and we've done a video on this before, is while you're at an RV campground, uh, fill your black tank up and flush it with, like, fill it up with your uh, wash down system, black tank wash out system. Fill it up and wash it out maybe two or three times maybe even more until you get all your sensors working perfectly and then when when you don't leave it dry you need to put about I try to do a couple of minutes of water in the bottom of it and then pour some of this in there and anything that goes in there should be eat up but we try to wash out our tanks at least once a month completely but now also we don't um we don't. A lot of people flush their tanks every two or three days. We don't. We try to let ours get where it's on the red. It's time to flush it because... You need to wait till it has at least three quarters in it no matter what. Yeah, because that way it's cleaning your sensors. This stuff is fantastic. Um, the only toilet paper you'll probably see coming out of the um, black tank if you've got the clear thing is what was recently put in there like in the past 24 hours because i'm telling you i was surprised the first time so okay that's our two cents. they want uh our dogs when they come in from being outside uh they can be especially the little one can be demanding for only some type of treat only the so the only the little ones pretty much um <clears throat> and this this could be used by someone that is a 
OPRO or somebody that is a flat newbie into the business. It does not matter if you have a brand new RV or if you have an RV like ours that is 2014. You, you're going to need to be doing this kind of stuff on a regular basis if you're in the sun or in the heat or cold because your windows, your trim around your windows needs to be conditioned with this stuff and you need to be able to work your windows even in the coldest weather or the hottest weather. And so I would I would do that is just take that lithium grease and work around your any points that you have metal against metal working your steps your uh, underneath your slides like we talked about your jacks and uh, your blue ox on the rear like we showed you and any other thing I'm sure I'm missing a whole lot but these are just things that are obvious to me that you need to be doing and I hope you enjoyed this if you have if this has been any type of benefit to you I really appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up and you subscribe to our channel. We're and slow and we're growing. And share us. Share us with your friends. And uh, Dina's got a word. So if you have better ideas or better ways to do the things that we showed you today, we are not experts and we would love your opinion and your ideas. Give us give us some ideas of things that we overlooked that we might need to check into. We hope to see you on the road.